My name is Katarina Mehl. I work for Boyd, which is a company that works with Chalmers Industrial Technology. Uh, we were close to Chalmers and we were asked by Chalmers and the Graphene flagship to make an exhibition about graphene. Uh, that is a pretty big challenge because uh, you have to make something abstract, visible and uh, understandable for uh, not just scientists but normal regular people like children and parents. Uh, so what we see here is an introductory wall where we just take uh, the visitor through some basic background of graphene. Um, we show uh, quickly what properties graphene has and uh, how it came to life. Uh, we have a little bit more about the background um, in two of the parts of the exhibition. In this part of the exhibition we show the scientific background, we show the history of graphene, uh, we show how the Nobel Prize has changed uh, research about graphene dramatically. Uh, in 2004, uh, if you want to have a look at this graph, um, the graphene was isolated. Since then, uh, up until now, uh, graphene research has uh, exploded pretty much. Uh, there is a, a lot of research being done on graphene and we hope to see much more in the future. We also answer a few question marks for the regular visitor. How does a laboratory look like? What is a clean room and what does it mean? And uh, you can have a look inside one of the laboratories with help of uh, Kinect technology. You can look around the corners a little bit as well. Uh, we also answer just regular questions. Uh, is graphene safe? Uh, in, in what areas can we maybe see it in the future? Things like that. The other background information on the other side here, if you want to come along, uh, is about graphene uh, as a material as such. Graphene is uh, entirely made of carbon, which is one of the most abundant uh, elements in the universe. Uh, but uh, carbon can take many different forms. It can be diamond, for instance. It can be graphite. It can be uh, something called carbon nanotubes or a carbon ball, a so-called buckyball. But it could also just be a hexagonal uh, pattern, which is two-dimensional, which means it's just one layer of carbon atoms. And then this material is called graphene. And this graphene has very, very specific and unique properties. It is only made of carbon, but it can still conduct electricity, it can conduct heat very well, uh, it is flexible, it's transparent, and it's very, very strong. Um, so what we want to do in this exhibition is go through these six different properties of graphene uh, and showcase them a little bit to um, yeah, awaken the imagination of the visitor what graphene can do in the future because it has immense potential. Uh, here we show the property of graphene being incredibly light. Um, a visitor can uh, step onto one of the scales and uh, everybody has carbon in their body. It's, uh, like I said, the fourth most abundant material in the universe, so it's even part of us. And if we took all the carbon atoms in our body and made a graphene sheet out of that, we could cover quite a bit of the Gothenburg map just with graphene made of our body. Um, we, even <clears throat> we even talk about uh, graphene being transparent and entirely flexible. And that is something that has the potential to change, for instance, how we work with screens. They could be flexible and entirely transparent, thin screens that make a lot of things possible in the future. So here we have a graphene sheet. This is an actual plastic covered in graphene and it uh, connects an electric circuit. So if I press on this button, a light shows up and it shows that uh, graphene actually leads electricity and this is a this smart uh, watch is one possible application for this um, uh, property uh, so it leads electricity it is incredibly light it is flexible it's transparent and it also leads heat very well and you might wonder what is that good for well 
for instance, we need to cool our um, our electronic devices. Uh, it can be really, really good for sensors. So here you can um, compare different materials, pretty much. You can have a look at uh, polystyrene, which is a very bad heat conductor. So you can see on the screen the heat, it just stays with you. It almost doesn't go away at all. While wood is a slightly better heat conductor, but still not very good. Most of the heat stays with me here. The wood actually starts feeling warm after a while if I touch it. Aluminum is a much, much better heat conductor, and most of the heat is actually led away. There's still some staying here, but with graphene, I can pretty much never heat up the graphene plate with my hand. All of the heat is always sent away. That's how good of a heat conductor it is. And then finally, uh, graphene is very strong, which means that we can, uh, we can strengthen other materials. As I said, graphene is only one uh, uh, atom layer thick, so it's very hard for it to live by itself, but it can strengthen other materials. Uh, in this case, we have uh, reinforced a plastic rod. This plastic rod is just pure plastic. It's very easy to bend while this one has been enhanced with a graphene sheet. So there's actual graphene in here. It's very hard for me to pull on this rod. Uh, what's very interesting also is that um, since graphene is made of carbon, which I said many times already, is very abundant, we can, um, uh, we can replace rare resources with it. That means that uh, we can potentially save the environment from uh, resources that are very rare and hard to come by and maybe even destroy uh, the environment. Um, as we come around here, we have a very special area. In this area, we want people uh, to spend time with graphene. Um, we have a sitting area. Where, we can, uh, where the museum can conduct workshops, uh, where school classes can go through uh, the topic together as a group. Uh, families can sit here and enjoy and, and talk about what they've been talking about together. Uh, and uh, we have a bit of an atmospheric movie going on in the background that just goes through these six uh, properties uh, again and again so that you can uh, reinforce what you've learned throughout the exhibition. Uh, in the workshops there will be uh, an opportunity for kids to um, showcase uh, what ideas they can come up with themselves uh, and uh, they can eventually maybe uh, work on building molecular models uh, and things, things like that. Last but not least we have this staircase. In this staircase, uh, we also showcase uh, uh, applications for graphene. So, for instance, we have this tennis racket and a paddle racket that are reinforced with graphene, which makes them very strong, but at the same time very light. Uh, that might sound trivial to you right now, but if we just keep going with this story a little bit, in the future we might be able to reinforce planes and uh, thereby we can uh, not only reduce a lot of um, a lot of the fuel but we can also uh, maybe uh, save costs and save the environment and then the final final piece of the exhibition uh, which is the, an actual piece of graphene this is a piece of graphene that is um, put onto a, a silicon wafer and it is shown in different colors of light because graphene can be visible to the naked eye for a human if it's just shown in different colors of light. So sometimes you can see it a little better and sometimes you can see it a little worse. Um, we hope to be able to update the exhibition um, during the two years that it might be here at the Universium. So um, as soon as new uh, research uh, comes out, we have the opportunity to update our applications in the staircases um, and it, it, it will hopefully be a living monument. Thank you.